Mike, at one point, 95 percent of Grantham was in the dark. Now, overnight, significant progress has been made. And that number is down to about 16 percent of the town that is still offline. Now, throughout the morning, crews could be found in the Lake Sunapee re region working to restore power, in some cases, one breaker at a time. Now, crews were working round the clock as Eversource brought in workers from out of state. Eversource says they have some 450 line and tree crews working on the problems. In Grantham, the power outages were complicated as there was a trouble at five different points along a main transmission line. Now, for residents, it was simply a matter of coping as best they could while they waited for the lights to come back on. We had some uh, beans and hot dogs I cooked on the uh, wood stove and uh, we survived. Of course, we have uh, a, uh, a well pump, so we had no water for a while. We've had to go section by section after addressing the problems on that transmission line uh, to restore power uh, to, to the customers in the Grantham area, and it's a heavily forested area. As you may be able to tell now, there is a light snow that is falling here in Grantham. Eversource says the snow that fell overnight continued to add to the problems, particularly in the Lancaster area, but their goal is to get everyone back online by later tonight. Reporting live in Grantham, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.